Good morning and welcome back to the Apocalypse and Project Zomboid. We're still in Fort Rockridge and um, this truck has now 200 weight units, encumbrance units, whatever you want to call, of loot in it, including seven additional solar panels. And I know I saw a battery somewhere yesterday or the other day, but I couldn't find it. So, so far, I've only looted the hangers though so those those three and this so i spent some time well two things i did first of all i put all the corpses outside of this building and set up a bed here in this place including a little little escape rope here so that I don't have to run back to the other base, um, to the other room for sleeping. Although all our food is over there, so we'll have to see. Uh, the other thing I did is I grabbed a bunch of tables and blocked the the path there. It's not gonna, um, you know hold off any zombies for any amount of time but it gives me the peace of mind as long as I look over there and I see all tables are still in place nobody's in here like that's kind of that nobody got in while I was sleeping that's that's the kind of uh, safety net that I want so what I'm gonna do today is um, we're gonna we're gonna go through the containers here yeah, at least bash them all open, the ones that need to be opened, and see what needs to be looted. And then we're going to do a little bit of, of fence cheese with the crates to help clear out the outer area of the base. Um. Yeah, that's terrifying. That is um, very concerning, though, something like that. What of this crap? What the hell is that? Which barrels? Metal containers. So yeah, any uh, what I was mentioning the other day. Well, let me actually let's open this one and then I I talk about what I was mentioning. Ooh, recreational stuff and water in the back. Uh, let me just disassemble this here. convenient I guess this I could either I mean I, I am building a, a a place for that back at base so maybe I should grab those I think this one was open anyway we got here out oh, food okay so today is saved no, the next two days are saved Oh, yeah, I think we have so much. Like, I've, I've gone a little bit overboard uh, with the stuff that I looted into the car. We will, however, grab an extra MP5. Um, now, one thing I was mentioning the other day is that uh, if you want to get to all the crates and you can't get to them and you would have to empty them all out and then disassemble or move the crates and the alternative is you just go into destroy mode sledgehammer 
and anything in the crate just drops to the ground. Something smashing. Top. Yo. What are they transporting here? Zombies? Somebody smashing a different container somewhere. Hmm. Let's drop this. So it's out my weight. Holy crap. I did not expect the, the door to give in so quickly. Awake now. Yeah, the, the thing is, um, there's this whole thing with what I mentioned before zombies spawn in once you get land aside. So, but why were the zombies up top? But apparently, because the other containers are on top of this container they somehow count as one building, so if you have line aside to one of the containers below, the one above also gets spawned. It's, it's a little bit weird. There is a mod where it um, changes the mechanics so that basically anything you come um, within like a hundred tiles or so, every building gets spawned in, it just eats performance and it kind of also has other issues. The main issue with that mod, well, I think is, well, which is not relevant for me, but um, it puts spawn zombies in your spawn house, even though your spawn house is normally always empty. But uh, it's the spawn fix mod, and yeah, that, that doesn't sound like a fix to me. Anyway. Now we can actually look at all the containers and think, why the hell did we go through all this trouble? And you still see then here on the ground or the other stuff lying around. So I can pick up a spare garden folk, sure why not. Roll that into my, my looting back here. Should put that. Sledge in there too, and then equip that. I'm not sure if I want to bother building staircase to get in there. More batteries. I wonder if we if we ever reach the capacity of our battery bank. Oh, 
just like that, we have plenty of food also here. I don't have to go back to the other base. Ready. Eight. Slightly over. Uh, take my take my shotgun shells. Like there's enough container looting for one day. Excitement for my weak heart. All right, get everything in there. Anything else, you know, yeah, let's put the MREs in there. No need to run around for a gas can. How many spare weapons do I need to have on me? Okay. Right. Then, I'm gonna empty one of these boxes here. And get ready for some fence cheese. Except there's nobody here. And there used to be a bunch of guys at that corner, right? Don't even have to cheese for that guy. And over here we got a friendly group all coming in for the box. What's in the box? I'll do that a little bit, and I'll, I'll be right back. Just like that, um, zombies died. Also, we get short blade up to eight. So now we need to store short blunt. So long blunt is really lagging behind. Well, and actually X, which you know I I don't mind. They also feel like this is all the, the fence cheesing we're going to do here. Tempted to, to honk a bit, but nah, let's, let's, let's keep it to a fun little side adventure and not let that become my main way of killing zombies here. Like, the completionist in me still wants to go through all the containers, but I feel like that's once again something for, for a rainy or foggy day where I'm not recording. Um, because unless I get jumped by three zombies from, a, from inside a container, it's not... It's not too exciting what we're doing there. So instead... I take the truck here. Let's take the truck here. If I can find the, you know, just do this. If I can't find the thing to get in, we get in this way. Ah, 
but we're still gonna be on on melee duty today. Let's see how quickly I re regret that. Now, from the skills wise, we don't actually have to work on long blade and katana, but I feel like when I find a katana, I want to use it. It's so much fun to play with that, to, to fight with that, and it's kind of so such a rare weapon that kind of breaks my my regular rules for weapon usage. Do some yelling, see if something is, is hiding in these woods here. No regrets in life, just lessons. Well, unless it's a bite, you probably regret that. Are you running? That looked weird. That that M24. There's still this this part of me that really wants to try out the sniper rifle. Just not sure what the right situation is gonna be. I'm still carrying around the box. I think I'm just gonna place it here for now. Yeah, zombie coming there. Okay, we're very um, cautious here about this. Now we're getting into springtime, so the visibility in the woods is also drastically reduced. You no longer have the... In, in the winter we could almost look through the whole forest, and now it's again solid line of sight blocker. Although, I mean, some trees still don't have leaves, but some do. You may be a little bit careful. We have some, some guys trickling around the fence line here, and then there's a big group in the parking lot of the hospital. One sitting across the fence is gonna con constantly be, be growling at me. And so there's the 
the drowsiness. You know, since just barely 20 minutes into the episode, I'm gonna chunk an energy drain so we can do a little bit more killing here today. Chunk, chuck, drink. Consume. Stink lack of runners here. Eh? Not complaining. That's one. One. Is she coming for me? Who's coming from far away? Oh, this confuses me. Like, those guys were not coming and she's, she was, like, behind them. Well, she's one of the guys from the other side of the fence that navigated... The long way around, I guess. You carrying hand axe? Everybody's slow walking, okay. Coming out again, making sure that we don't have a runner. guys spotted me, like, don't come around here. And there's a runner on the other side of the fence, so he's probably also going to find his way around, eventually. Probably another sniper rifle. spotted me. Okay, so yeah, I haven't seen me before. And two more coming. Yeah, it's a sniper rifle. Okay. Now, I'm a little bit torn here. We could try to just stay away from the hospital. I don't think there's anything in the hospital that I want. And basically use that spawning mechanic to our advantage and just not spawn it in. But I feel like that's not the right spirit here. Yeah. So I think um, basically the last thing we're going to do before we head home is move close enough that they spawn in and then get the hell out and let them bash indoors and stuff overnight.
this group is moving in a erratic way. Not erotic way. Like some of them to spot me, but not all of them, maybe. Come on. There we go. wait for that right now. Alright, okay, that's at least two runners. Is that another Viking axe? It is. Okay, so now we're definitely close enough. I need zombies inside to wake up. I'm surprised I don't see anybody inside. I think that that's going to be good enough for the first day pushing here towards the hospital. I wonder if the winter is now really over. No more snow whatsoever. My little trap worked, but in a way that I didn't quite expect. The interesting part was that they, they were all gathering there, but they only started attacking the box once I was in range. Pick one up. Do it like this. Ah, kind of pointless that I have a car now and I'm still running home, but it's such a short way. That's still gonna be faster than than driving. Fill up my canteen. Actually, fill up that bottle. And then I'm gonna not have some food because I have all the food in the car. Did I leave anything in here? Anything that's not rotten, preferably. Some chocolate, that's basically a full meal. That's gonna hold me off over the night. All right, um, yeah. We're making progress in the base, slow, but steady. 
and um, most importantly, safe-ish. So, probably going to be... Um, oh, we weren't that tired yet. It's 3 a.m. Okay, I'll figure something out how to pass some time. So we actually get some daylight and we're not going... Nah, it's going to be another energy day, drink day, I think. Um, but yeah, let's have a... Let's have a look at the map again. So... We have this area, which is fenced off from the rest a little bit, with an entrance here and an entrance somewhere over there. That is very similar to this area, um, where we've been in before. Similar sort of tent, similar layout, so fun. We have the big hospital, and then an open road, and these are like basically the main barracks with all the... Um, bedrooms for the soldiers in the base so there's gonna be a lot of people here then back here is like the training area and this is now another big garage and there's somewhere here there's another big armory either way um i think we're gonna do a little bit of a shooting day again maybe grab a shotgun i haven't used that in a while and uh, continue cleaning up what can i say but for today, that's going to be all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.